Okay, let's do this. Hello, guys. Are you enjoying your day so far? For today, I prepared guar sketching, and as usual, I will be rambling about the technique and struggles and what I've learned from the sketching session. I had clear idea what I wanted to focus on and achieve from this session, and so then I found good reference. But my reasons for today's gouache are, first of all, to practice midday and twilight and how the shade behave in these situations. Secondly, practice perspective and thinking in shapes or the detail. details. Third one, how to draw glass window and how it reflects object. And fourth one is to well, as usual, again, pretty color combinations. One reference was from some guy in the story, and another one was my own recent photo. I will show them in the end, so you will see them in comparison with the result of sketching, and you will be able to see what I did stick to and what I dismissed during this sketching. <laughs> and first off, I noticed that along with getting better in art, I get better in taking pictures. Because right now I know more about the composition and the viewpoint. And the same goes for uh, taking shots, shots, taking pictures. It helped me to improve in art and more get better in the live sketching. Like, I learned how to turn 3D world into 2D for it being easier to sketch down. So, for example, if I want to draw some light landscape that I see in real life, I can first point the camera at what I see to set the clear boundary boundaries for area I want to draw. And once I see what will and what won't be in the final frame, it is easier to put that on paper as I know right now what I'm supposed to look at. And as well at the beginning you saw me using really light layer of gouache that looks like watercolor but actually is a gouache. So the thing is, uh, when I do, when I did that, I realized that it's not only helping me to set basic color palette, but it's also how I would work in watercolor. So basically, I'm practicing here gouache and watercolor in one. And of course, um, I there is difference in finished look and in layering, but it's actually the way how they work here to me are pretty similar. The next thing I noticed that my YouTube channel is kind of like a art journal for me because I record and think a lot about what is currently going on with my art and what I've learned and discovered and I think that will be a great reminder for the future me about how I improved in art and that some knowledge wasn't that simple and obvious before because, because it's not. It's, it's really not that obvious at first. And I would definitely recommend you to find a way to somehow record your improvement as it will give you a sense of achievement and will probably cheer you up in the future. As well, in comparison to my older gouache sketch, I've used flat and roundy flat brushes here, which saved me so much time and enabled me to go into detailing, detailing too much so that I was able to get those wide but precise strokes and practice shape over going into deep, deep details. It also helped that I could not bend to the paintings closely because of the camera, camera setup and keeping distance helped to see value spots and shapes as well. You will also notice that on some areas I spent more time to get needed color and darkness like on the first one was window and upper area, I constantly kept going back to dark and lighted it up. And on the second one, I struggled the most with left bottom corner of the road, uh, with trees and skies. Like first of all, I wanted to simplify trees as there were too many branches on the reference. 
and I also couldn't see what color the leaves and upper branches were so I tried light yellow, light orange, rose and purple and blue and in the end just settled on the greenish kind of tone. Then I noticed that the skies and trees were competing in attention and I've managed to deal with that but it resulted in skies blending with the trees and colors and I needed to think which color I can put there so it will define trees but still look natural. Yeah, in the end I'm happy with the result and the process of painting pushed me to think and experiment and that is the most awesome part. So yes, thank you for watching and talk to me. Say hi in the comments, leave a like and share it with your friends so we can talk and have fun and grow together. Yes, keep being awesome human beings and carry on.